hey, we're starting the game over again. Interesting. Actually, no, no, I, I just want to show off the quick save. Save. What is quick save, you say? Well, in the GBA version of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, there is an area where you can literally quick save. Save. While in the middle of the floor, just in case if you, for some reason, didn't have enough time to actually open up a moment's reprieve in a, in a floor itself. So, or you just couldn't go back and you you didn't want to waste all those precious movement points that you could have gotten. So you use a quick save. The only downside is it's basically a temporary save. Save. It's almost like interim saving. And not actual saving. So whenever you got back, you got back to how it was originally. And to be honest, I actually used that as one of the playthroughs just to see how long I can go through the game without actually regularly saving. Thing. And I was able to beat the game in eight hours using that method. Still not the fastest time I've beaten this game, but eh, what can you do? Oh, and by the way, I was at level 47 when I beat it at the fastest time, which was six hours. FYI. Ugh. But it's hard to brag on something when most people have people that you try to talk to about have never played it. So it started, so it started loses that value. It, it, it's almost like when when I was like, it's like uh, telling uh, telling Jelka and her friends that I was able to beat that uh, dark, that uh, that that dark evil book that you go into and you basically have to uh, go up these floors and. Make sure that you keep the uh, candlelits alive, otherwise you get banished out of the book. And also, if you die, then you basically lose the book as well. Now, I was the only person to do that said side quest, and no one else has done it. It's kind of feel weird to say that you did it multiple times, in fact, and yet no one has actually tried it themselves. Yeah, sort of loses his hipster value. Oh yeah, I actually read, um, I've, I've actually been reading reviews, like, I've been reading, like, some of the best reviews and also the worst reviews, like, people who just, like, are, like, bashing the game, and for one of the reviews that was, like, that was, like, that was, like, saying it was, like, one of the worst, uh, Kingdom Hearts games in the installment, so, it, well, at least it's, it's better than Recoded, but still, it's still worse, they said that the flow motion was broken, the fact that you can just use flow motion through the entire game. Actually, it's pretty balanced since it's based off of uh, the Keyblade stats. Even though the stats for the Keyblades themselves are broken, since it's not balanced between each Keyblade. So yeah, I don't see how flow motion is broken. Honestly, I think it's annoying to constantly use flow motion. In battle, that is. In battle, yes. Well, and even though there is a trophy that awards you for killing enough Dream Eaters using Flow Motion. Yeah, I'm gonna be getting uh, two, or, two or three trophies before I even leave Traverse Town for the first time. Probably. <laughs> yeah. I do that a lot when I get games for the first time. I try to see how, how far I can do something before the game tells me I can't do it. I'm starting to do that a lot more often now. No. That doesn't mean I can't beat the game faster than anyone else or slower than anyone else. I'll have the rest later. Yeah, because you still owe me three, three more dollars. But yeah. yeah. See, that's why I like you as a friend. I don't have to remind you about anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So yeah, more, f more of these large bodies. Okay. That's that's your actual names, large bodies. Oh, now, and before what you, you do and, and before to you take out these guys easily is you shuffle through your deck, you go to where you have your magic at, and use your magic. Yeah, but seeing as how they keep spamming their attack, which by the way, something that I didn't point out all the way back in season one, believe it or not. 
you can tell which character is attacking because of their red silhouette that go that glows around them. It may be a little bit hard to see unless you're really close to Honestly, the... I just call it a super armor frame. Yeah. That's basically what it is. Yes, but it's in glowing red. Instead of just glowing. Glowing in like a, a non-noticeable color. There. There. But the super armor frames, in my opinion, are can be almost any color, really. Uh, they chose red. Normally, it's red and yellow. They chose red. This, and they choose yellow for a sort of thing, but that's not technically super armor since you can still technically get attacked while you're reloading your deck. Balance. Exactly. But then again, you could do that with any enemy that can use slaves anyway. But since they're constantly moving. It's sort you of mean like, like Ansem? Yeah. Ansem Ansem Marlexia Axel. That's like hey, I'm just gonna Mark slide around Sane. now. That's like hey, I'm just gonna open up my strongest slave right at the very beginning of the battle, so yeah, like be a bro and don't card break me, okay? Cool things. Yeah. Oh you card break me. That's Ray. rude. Ray. Well, take that! In this barrage of one attack! Wait, you're using a zero card! Why can I not counter? Because I have... Because you haven't used recovery. Great. Slice, slice, slice! Wait, how are you able to time me three times only using one card? I'm just that awesome. Yeah, I know. I, I got nothing. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Remember when Axel was was beating you up using that zero card, and, you, <laughs> and once you broke it, it was like it was like just was like, the screw you, Axel, screw you. <laughs> so, so. Also, remember when his HP was almost low, and Casey's like, you should walk onto him. Right, screw you, Casey. <laughs> screw you. No, 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 no. Oh, and remember when Simba was the one who made the final blow? I summoned Simba, so it was me. It was all me. <laughs> Wait, that sounds like as if you were almost about to go to a reference, Prince. Uh, actually, I actually, I went into the reference of Tension already. It was me! <laughs> <laughs> you get it now, right? Yes. Yes. Sorry, I was, I was, I was thinking about Looney Tunes, but yeah. after... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like how it just came right out and just zaps you, tries to zap you. Yeah. Ha! I get the first move! Oh, you! Okay, move. really, this is why we need, like, Thundaga in our deck or something to switch that and just. We can't it. use Thundaga in this thing! First off, we don't even have Thunder cards yet. Well, yes. Second off, they they can heal themselves with Thunder. Also, those. those green. I don't care, use it! You just healed them to full health. I don't care. I don't care. More challenge for me! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Why don't you ever preload your deck so all you have to do is tap A? When you're out of cards. Or is that just limited to me? Or am I just weird like that? No, no. Like, people do that. It's just weird. How is it weird? Like, just keep doing them do this. <laughs> I like as if he's like trying to hit himself. <laughs> <laughs> and the face falling. No, you no you hold A, and then you preload it off of that. You don't move. Exactly. You preload it. Like you, like think of it as a uh, what's it called a what is it um the thing that was the music box or uh, wind up box right? Yes, and right before it reaches the point where it pops out, you stop. Yes. And then when you're out of cards, you go da 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 da, right? Boom. Yeah. You're you're just moving the time it takes you for the reload to the beginning. Not really. You you you're still taking the same time to reload. Okay, but only when you're, only but you're when just you, prolonging it. Not really. It's faster, in my opinion, because you not you're not wasting time getting attacked reloading your deck. It's still it's when you still... need cards. That is. 
You're just moving time and moving it to another time you can do that time. Same, let's call it same difference. I was gonna call it different sames. Oh, the spider possibilities. Spiders! Suddenly, spiders aren't here anymore. Sorry, your spiders are in another floor. <laughs> and it's like, okay, next floor! And there's like no barrels anywhere. You know, we really, really need to get one of those, um... So we can do a uh, Flutter Square, uh... And just say forget it, just do Flutter Square, uh... Cop House. Just swear and just Flutter Square it. Ah, uh, yes. Unfortunately, that requires editing. Easy. Even then. It's not like I'm too lazy to edit, it's just I don't have time to edit. There's always time to edit. Then again, I'm the one who doesn't do it. Yeah, actually, yeah, that... Then again, I'm the one who procrastinates with uploading in the first place. Yeah, where are those Paper Mario parts? They're coming. It's just that when I was when I started to upload, I had to get off because people were getting on Netflix. Mainly my sister and my mom. So That's a whole lot of stuff there. Donald See, they just recovered. Because he used cure and they went to them? No, because he used Blizzard. Up. Bruh, and it went to them. It killed the large body, but it healed up the healers. How does that make sense? The I guess so. I guess the healers are all immune to magic. Yes, they are so immune they recover to it. That magic makes no sense. Yeah, there's yeah, and also they they oh. also actually actually they're immune to any magic period. I like how he just flips around and mid-hit stun, too. Yeah. Oops, I accidentally hit that. I wasn't supposed to hit that. Nope. <laughs> and that's no good. They really made that point there. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Make a well, it's a it's a it's an import of a game that was on the mobile device. They they couldn't think of any other selling point than that, other than the fact that it's an import from from a mobile phone game that was only released in Japan. Question is, when was it released? Because... Like, the mobile phone game? Because it doesn't have, like, uh... boxes in it. Like, really? Or was that just, uh... It does, but it... It, it wasn't revealed as to being Roxas. Yeah. Ro it, it, it wasn't revealed as being Roxas Roxas. It just had the hint that, yes, it was Roxas. Roxas. We're not gonna say we're we're we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna say that it's Roxas, but it's Roxas. Well, I mean, he wasn't even introduced in the series yet, was he? You do realize where Rico takes place, right? 
uh, right after they raid Castle of Oblivion, right? No, not Oblivion, no. Castle of Oblivion. Yes. Yes, it takes place between Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. Okay. In fact, the only reason why you play this is because of the secret ending that leads to Dream Drop Distance. Oh, and also there's like information and other backstory in there that will probably be well, that will probably be introduced in Kingdom Hearts 3. 3, but to people will be so why awkward why because are Luffy and Donald not your partners anymore and yeah, it's spirit. Because in order, to, in order to pass the Mark of Mastery's exam, you have to do it on your own. The Dream Warriors are just an extra bonus in there as well. They're not really doing it on their own, though, are they? Kind they of? Because they're dropping in with each other, right? They're both, they're both in a purgatory-like sleep, and you must switch between them, between them, or else they will go into a deep sleep, and the other one has to go and and finish the job. Which basically means Sora screwed up and he fell asleep and then Rika didn't. So which actually makes it all go away because Rika was, was supposed to have the key late anyways. Yes, but then Riku screws up by falling asleep. Sleep, ironically, and then Score has to go and... Di <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about Endgame. Sora screws up. Actually, like... They're yeah. Well, 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 right? yeah. Because they're sharing, because yeah. they're sharing Keyblade contracts, right? Uh, yeah. But what? But what's the whole thing? So, no, the... because they're sharing the contract. Source screws up eventually, and he ends up falling, and he ends up staying in the Dream World. At least that's what I've gathered. He ends up staying in the Dream World temporarily because Riku has to go and do his thing before he goes and screws up and falls asleep, and then Sora picks it up. They're basically switching between falling asleep and waking up. Either you control that factor, or the game controls that factor for you, and you just have to deal with it. You don't know. <laughs> I don't like you anymore. <laughs> yeah. Remember in Birth by Sleep where you get to choose which character you want to start with, finish no. their story? Is there any way? If, really? Oh, good. Then, then you'll probably like what system we have here. Wow, this is so amazing. And then when you go to Birth by Sleep, you're like, Why did they do this? This. I throw it on the ground! But not like a boss. Like a rock. I don't like rocks, though. Didn't you used to have a pet rock? No, it was you. Oh, you're right. But wait, I'm younger than you. Exactly. <laughs> 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 I'm what, a year older than you? <laughs> You're only older by like Three five months. months. Yeah, five months. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a half older than I'm a half a year older than you. <laughs> You're barely half a year older than me. You're only yeah. off by one month. And meanwhile, so I, I was gonna borrow coded and then what else? Coded and Shin Chan. Yeah. Shin Chan. Do you want to both? I uh, want to borrow both season one and two, or just season one. I have no idea. Season 1 was great, Season 2 sort of felt like they were falling back on it, but they sort of brought it back, back uh, during the second half of Season 2, and then- Oh they, look, we're jumping. And then they questioned why they were doing this series, since technically Shin-Chan was in a bridge series even before, even before Lil Kariba was doing a bridging. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah! Actually, it wasn't really so much a bridge as it was a troll series. Yeah, but basically it can be taken Look out- Look at all those cards, like, really? <laughs> I know, when I was doing out, dude, I literally counted like, one, two, three, oh, I'm gonna get a card next! Help! 
Nope. And just like with just like with going to the casino, I put my I put too many chips in the pool. And now they had to be fished out. The pool cleaner what was the not the pool cleaner was not <laughs> How the hell does that work? <laughs> you go on it once, you get stuff, and then you go on it again. <laughs> what the hell? I thought we already established that you can still get stuff getting like once you leave a room you you can go back No, I mean no, it was on the same thing. Oh, both they were both kingdom keys and they're both two. I don't know. I don't <laughs> Look at all those Moogle points! Like really better open up the Moogle room soon. I already opened up a Moogle room. That was the first room I opened up. Really? Yes. Huh. Yes, we were yes. You were mostly too busy on talking about Bradley games. I think. Makes sense. Now you're making sense. And I'm making snacks. Okay. Looks like we'll be leaving off here soon. Yes. Just more Joseph jumping around being weird. What? I had to extend the time somehow. I mean, I am recording time this Time extension! <laughs> I mean, yeah, you are recording. Yeah, I'm recording 22 minutes at a time. And it sucks if I get done early. So then you get to see me do this stuff. Just walk around and collect stuff. Yes, just to fill in that 22 minute quota that was already pre-established. Except during the finale. Which that was only like 20 minutes. Yeah. Another Kingdom Key. Look at all those Moogle points. 